Hi there guys, in this video we're going to have a look at the Pacifier Frag Cannon. Uh, this is a unique power play reward uh, for supporting Zach Hudson, I think that's how you pronounce it. Zachary Hudson. Uh, you get it after supporting him for four weeks and having a high enough rank with him. So let's uh, go and have a look in the outfitting section. So let's go and have a look. So for this we're going to need another hard point, but this time we're going to need a large hard point or a class 3. Uh, this is a fragment cannon. So let's go and have a look. Um, to get, yeah, there it is. Class 3 C passes a frag cannon. Um, let's have a look at the details. So it's a class 3 with a rating of C. It has a mass of 8, uh, an integrity of 64, a power draw just over 1, boot up time of 0, a damage per second of 185 and a half. Uh, each projectile has 3.4 damage, a power draw of 0.57, a thermal load of 1.1, armor piercing of 52, a range of 3 kilometers, a projectile speed of 1 kilometer, a far away of 4.5 clip size of 3 and a maximum of 90 a rounds per shot of 12, a reload speed 5 so it is again another ammo based weapon it is again another fixed weapon like a lot of the other power play rewards uh, bear in mind like I said the prices are a tenth of what they are because this is in a beta so let's uh, go and have a look at this gun uh, in battle So I've whisked this on a bit, so you can actually just see the fragment cannon. Uh, obviously, as you can see, I'm not doing too well. However, I'm just trying to show you the actual cannon and what it does. Um, that didn't help, but it's uh, if you can get it in with it. It's quite a difficult one. I probably shouldn't have picked an anaconda to test it on. Um, like I said. There you go, it's a, sort of like a frag cannon, but it's a much closer together one. It can do a pretty good amount of damage. Um, it has, obviously, it's a class 3 weapon, so as you would expect. Uh, I've only got one on this ship, so potentially with a couple of them you could do a lot of damage. Uh, it's not very good on shields. Um, again, also, as I said before, it is a fixed weapon, so it does make it a bit more awkward to aim, but it does have a little bit of a spread, so you can actually... You know, that's not too good. <laughs> as I said, uh, yeah, in all in all, it's not a bad weapon. Shame I died there, but never mind. Um, it's not a bad uh, fragment cannon, but it's not one of the best. You do have to still use sort of pulse lasers to get the shields down. Uh, I could see it being pretty good once you've got the shields down and you get multiple frag cannons uh, getting the hole down very quickly. Anyway guys, that's the passive frag cannon. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you like the video, like and subscribe hopefully. Take care.